Hey, what's up guys? As always, it is a big warm welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's video is a little bit of a garage update from me. Hopefully you would have seen in our last video, my McLaren 650S is now sold. So that goes at the end of the week. And as I said in the video, I've really, really enjoyed the supercar experience. But my question to you today is, what should I replace it with? My love for classic Ferrari always burns bright. But just recently, I've been looking at classic Aston Martins, particularly the V8 Aston Martins around the early 70s era. So who knows what I'm gonna replace the McLaren with. But also today, this video is about an update on my TVR. Hopefully you would have seen my last video of the smiles for miles that this car gives me. But what I didn't explain to you in the video is some of the little things that I want to do to bring this car up to the standard that I like. So today's video is all about we're going to take a look around this car, what I plan to do with it starting from today. So just to give you another walk around of the TVR guys, it really is in what I call very, very good condition but it's not perfect. Now, do I want a perfect TVR? Because as much as I love this car, they're not of a huge value, don't get me wrong. They probably in the value of 15 to 20,000 pound. This particular example has done 38,000 miles. So what do I plan to do with this car? Well, I plan to have a little bit of paint work done um, from one of our Vintro partners, which I'll go on to explain further in this video. So first and foremost, if you look at the car, it's got a few sort of little stone chips um, on the car. Um, and it's got sort of ones around the TVR badge around here and stuff like that. So I've decided at the moment to have the front wings, the bonnet painted and the bottom of the sills blended through. But there's always that question of when you do something like this, like, well, do you just strip the rest down, flatten it out with a bit of grey scotch and flash over the lacquer and paint the whole thing? I'll be having that conversation with Stephen and Matt later on, but the first initial plan is to have the bonnet, the wings and the sills painted in because it has got a few stone chips. So that I know this is dirty here at the moment because I've been driving the car, but it has got a few stone chips where the where the stones chip up from the wheels onto those sill panels. And then we're going to blow in along that edge and we're just going to just nip into that bottom half of that bumper there. But as you can see, the car really is in, in super condition, particularly for the year. So the question is, do I just have the front wings, bonnet, sills, bottom of the bumpers blown, or just do we say, oh, come on, let's just strip the rest out. Do we scotch it over? and do we flash over the whole thing. Um, being a low mileage and the example that it is, yeah, possibly it would, it would work well with the car. But I do have to say, before we even think about putting paint on this car, we have to carry out a thorough inspection of the chassis. Now with these TVRs, they are renowned to have chassis problems. And if I speak honestly, guys, I have no idea whether this chassis is original, whether it's been repaired before, or whether it needs replacing. I don't know, or could it even been replaced? Who knows? So we're going to put the car on the ramp later, and we're going to inspect that chassis. Now, again, the way I treat my cars, if this car needs a full chassis, it will have it. It will have a complete replacement chassis. If it needs repairs, it will have it and you never know, we might get it up onto the ramp and find nothing wrong with the car. And it might be just a, a little poke around, a scrape around clean, and we'll, re, we'll reapply some um, black under seal or something like that to protect it for its future use. So I don't know what we're going to find under this car later on today, but whatever it needs, it will certainly have it. 
Okay, so where am I taking my TVR to have the chassis checked and the paintwork carried out? Well, I'm absolutely delighted to say this car is going down to our new partner, which is Suffolk Car Body Repairs. Now, those guys, Matt and Stephen, they have joined the Vintro Repair and Restoration Network. So we're really looking forward to a long-term partnership with those guys there. Now, if you want to know more about that, then please do get in touch with us here at Vintro. We'll put the email address here. Get in touch with us and we'll tell you what our plans are for UK nationwide coverage of Repair and Restoration Network. Now, of course, the products that we'll use on this car will be Novell. We truly believe that Novell products on cars such as classics and TVRs like this, there is no better. They are the best in class. Now, just finally, hopefully you would have seen that Vintro Cover, our insurance brand, is now launched and we are live. We already have um, classic cars, supercars, performance cars on cover already. Our big success to our launch has been the Vintro Cover Multi Policy. So if you want to save yourself a bundle of cash and have great cover too, then please do look up Vintro Cover here. So without further ado guys, let's get down to Suffolk Car Body Repairs and let's see what awaits us with this chassis underneath. Okay guys, so we're back in the TVR and we're now ready to go over to Suffolk Body Repairs. First thing is to stop for fuel. We'll just let her um, warm up for a little bit. Okay. I've got that smile on my face already. Every time I get in this car, the sound of it. Oh yeah. Aston Martin Vantage which is a 2006 model 
and I really, really should start to use that car more. Once I get this car all painted up, you know, the way I want it, I would really, really love to get this into Europe on a road trip, maybe a Vintro road trip, or I may, I may even do a road trip away from Vintro and experience um, another another company's, if you like, um, offering a, of a tour, a rally, or a road trip. I remember many years ago, myself and Mark Garnham, we went on to a road trip or a rally called the Pure Rally. But if I was honest, as much as I quite enjoyed the experience with the people I was with, the rally was really more catered towards the supercar community, which again, I really do enjoy and I love that. But it was all a little bit airy, if you like, where with the Vintro road trips, we have things like this TBR. We do have supercars, of course, but we have classics come along. Um, and some, you know, really good coupes like the BMW M3s and M4s and stuff, Porsche 996s and 997s. Um, so, for me, a road trip is all about the variety of the cars that come along and of course the community that, that come along and experience those days too. I think this is one of the first times I've, I've driven this TVR where it's now approaching four o'clock in the afternoon and the, the, the light is drawing in quick. So um, I've actually got the side lights on. So it's yeah probably the first time I've experienced this in sort of a dusky conditions of light. So the dashboard looks absolutely fantastic on these. White dials with like orange background really really typically British if you like Right, let's just have a look what we've got under here then, Matt, yeah? Right, so these are the outriggers, what people talk about, isn't it? But I'll tell you what, they are not bad condition, are they? Got a little bit of something there. <coughs> yeah, you can visually see that, can't you? Let's get a light on it as well. Yeah. Tell you what though, overall, they're not rotten are they? No, and I'd say this was one of those powder cane ones as well, wouldn't you? Yeah. It looks like it's got enough oil on there to keep it protected. That's on the front, I just got in your video. It will be in the video, yeah. But it's, from what I understand, it is from the top that you get the real corrosion conditions. Yeah, but look at this, it's all really solid, isn't it? It is, and it looks solid. If you look up there, you're only really talking surface stuff, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm really pleased. Yeah, that's good to me. No, I'm really pleased, Matt, actually. Yeah. What I'd like, like you to do is just have a clean up around these, yeah. particularly this back one here. Have a poke around, have a clean up, but look how solid it is. It's really good. It is very. Yeah, really, really good. And so on it's the only, corners, isn't 
Yeah, literally. I, re I reckon with that amount of black, it's being treated. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that isn't oil. Because is you, you just hear horror stories with these, but um, well, as you can see, it's that's that's just a little bit of surface. That's not through. So a little bit of a clean up with a probably a wire brush on the end of a, a four inch grinder or something like that to clean it up and you just black them through. Okay, yep. Same with this. But look at the rails, you know, they're, I'm not saying they're perfect, but they're not, they're not far from it, are they? No, no I'm really, really pleased. So, um, I think I have myself here a good TVR, don't you? I do, yeah. All these little triangle brackets. I mean, obviously the, you've got the flake here, but they're a good, what, three inch steel? Um, three mil? Yeah. No, I'm happy, Matt. I'm happy. Yeah, so let's, well. uh, I think someone's had that off and treated it. Yeah, so let's stick to the original plan. Let's clean these up. Yeah. If you can just black them out for me. Yeah. Um, just get them back to clean metal and then, yeah, just squirt some zinc primer on them and re black them. And re black them and that's done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. So, guys, so as you can see, um, really perfect, really. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be so good because these TVRs, as you know, can be quite horror stories. I had myself a good one here. Hopefully you'd have seen on the, uh, the images there that this really just wants a bit of a poke around, clean up, um, probably with a wire brush, a four inch grinding wheel wire brush. We'll re-zinc the, um, the areas and we'll, uh, we'll put some protective coating on and I think uh, jobs are good. Okay, so it's another day and a progress update on the TVR. I've had the call from Matt and Stephen over at Suffolk Car Body Repairs. The car is well underway with the repairs and they're prepping the car later this afternoon in preparation for painting tomorrow morning. So I'm going to get in the old trusty Range Rover, head on over to see the guys and see what progress has been made to date. Okay guys, so here I am at Suffolk Body Repairs. Uh, TVR's in the background, so we'll just go and um, take a, a look what's happening there. We have uh, Matt in the background, say hi Matt. Hi yeah. So uh, Matt is one of the uh, partners of the business here. Steve is the owner of the business. He's busy in the oven because that is going to be prepped for tomorrow to paint the TVR. So let's just have a, a look at what's uh, going on here. Um, as you can see, this, this is the primed area, so where you see the primer, that is where the repairs have taken place. All this masking up here is just really to stop the dust going in the car. Um, we have decided to go into the door, so basically the, the car is going to be um, painted, colour on the front, blended into the doors over the rear. We've still got a little bit of work to do on here. But as I say, all this mask in here is only for protection only. There will be a stripping process take place, of course, before the, the car goes into paint tomorrow. So what you're seeing here is the primate areas because there was various stone chips that we had to, to get uh, through on there as the same with the bonnet. Um, I think we had a little bit of bonnet repairs in here, didn't we, Matt? Just yeah, we had a, a few little very minor cracks through, uh, I think it was about this area here. So, yeah, they've been um, taken down and fiberglass. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Um, I think that possibly could be a bit of a trait on these TVRs. I've seen this before. I think it is. It's a common thing on any of the sort of fiberglass, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sure. And I think we've done the other side or, or not. Is, this, is the... Um, I think the rest of it's No, the rest of it's okay this side, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's fine. Here, we had them here. So they were here and here. 
yeah that's Sorry. looking yeah that's looking great look at the shape on that now actually that's probably a a better shape now than it left the TVR yeah, factory. It's, so it's <laughs> you get a um, little problem. Like slight ripples sometimes, so we have blocked some of those out as well. Yeah, no, that's, that's good. So it'll be a scotch up the rear then. Uh, we'll, we'll scotch the rear up and then just lacquer through there. Yeah. Yeah, they're all looking good. So um, yeah, that's. I'm really looking forward to the the finished article actually. Yes. Yeah, so to be honest with you, the the the, the car wasn't. Um, it wasn't bad in the first place, was it? No, it wasn't. You know. So I, we wondered why. <laughs> you just know how fussy I am yes, you know, on, on, on my car so but you know it's it's one of those things I've said before the car they're not worth a huge amount of money sort of something like this in the condition that's going to be in about 18 20 thousand pounds but it's worth it for me mm. I, I, I just think it's such a great example we've had a look at the chassis still got to do a little bit of cleaning up under there yeah, yeah. yeah so, so that's all good so there you have it guys um, that's the latest update I will return tomorrow we're going to put the Cameras in the booth. Yes. So we'll we'll see the uh, the painting process. Steve will be painting the car. Um, so in the next clip, uh, we'll see that. See you soon. Okay, so it's the next day and the TVR is now all completed by our partners Suffolk Car Body Repair. So I think it looks absolutely stunning. I'm just going to take you round the car now and uh, give you a final look. So if we just flip the, the camera around, as you can see, in the end, the car was subject to a full complete respray. Um, Initially, I was just going to have the stone chips done, but after speaking to Stephen and Matt, we decided to complete the whole car. So basically, what we had on here, we were only going to have the, the front end done, and we were going to initially blend through the sills and into the quarters. But once we established that sort of a process, we said, no, let's strip the rest of the car and let's paint the whole thing. So hopefully you can see the, the colour is just absolutely fantastic. Um, it is a bit of a foggy day here today, so the paint is not really popping as it really could do. But I think it was worth doing the whole car because I said previously it is quite low mileage at 38,000. Um, and I just think the car was worth the investment. We've also had the chassis protected as well as part of the process. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see on camera, but all the underneath has been blacked out and that includes the chassis. The application of that was the Cobra application. So um, you would have seen on the previous video clip that the chassis was very good on this. There was only one little area that we've actually had to clean up and protect, but hopefully 
you think that the car was worth the effort that we've put in so as always guys um, hope you like the video if you have then please do like and perhaps subscribe to our channel and um, give us uh, a thumbs up a big thank you as always to our guys at Novell for continuing to support the channel continue to sponsor us as a company and finally thank you to Matt Stephen and all the guys down here at Suffolk Car Body Repairs hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you have again please do give it a thumbs up and plenty more videos coming soon as always guys it's peace and love from us